Hello everybody, in this Python tutorial we are going to go over how to easily and quickly create a tally count for elements in a list. So we've gone ahead and created our list here. We've given it the name change in pocket and what we want to do is get a tally count for each type of coin in our pocket. So in the list we have pennies and dimes and quarters and nickels. We're going to be using the collections module We've gone ahead and imported that here, and we're going to be using the counter function from the collections module. Now in general, how this works is elements are stored as dictionary keys and their counts are stored as dictionary values, okay? So let's go ahead and type out our code and then we'll go over it. Okay, so the first thing we did is we use our collections module here. Then we use a dot to access the counter function and we assign that to the variable tally. Then we use a loop here to loop through our change in pocket list here. Then this code here adds one to the count for each type of coin each time it is encountered or counted. Then here we're using a print to display the key and the value, and you'll see that here in just a second. So it will display the type of coin and the count each time as it goes through the loop. And then finally here we use a print to display the final tally count. So let's go ahead and select our code and run it. And you can see over here in the console, we get our output. So let's go over this output first. Now this output here comes from this print here. And you can see, if we go ahead and count the dimes, let's go through this list and count the dimes. So this is the first occurrence of the dime. And then as we go down through the list, this is the second occurrence of the dime. And then this is the third. And you can see, for the third occurrence of the dime, we have a three. Now we can do the same thing with quarters, for example. So let's go through our list. This is the first quarter and the second. And notice each time we see a quarter, the number next to it is the occurrence or the count for the number of quarters seen so far. The third quarter, the fourth, the fifth, this is the sixth, and finally the seventh. Now notice here for our final tally count, it does show that the count for the quarters is seven. Okay, And that's the output from this print statement. So if you went through all of this data here, you would see that the counts for the quarters would be seven, the count for the dimes would be three, the count for the pennies would be three, and the count for the nickels would be two. Now you could put anything you wanted into this list and it would give you a tally count for each element in that list. Okay, so that's all we have for this tutorial on how to quickly create a tally count for items in a list. We will be doing many more Python tutorials in the near future. Join us for those and we'll see you next time.